Direct dog training methods involve clear, explicit commands and cues given by the handler to the dog. Here are some individuals who might use direct training methods and the associated pros and cons. Dog trainers. Pros. 1. Clarity. Direct methods provide clear communication between the handler and the dog, reducing confusion and ambiguity. 2. Efficiency. Direct commands can lead to faster learning and quicker responses from the dog, facilitating more efficient training sessions. 3. Control. Direct methods allow handlers to have greater control over the dog's behavior, enabling them to address unwanted behaviors promptly. 4. Establishing leadership. Clear. Direct communication helps establish the handler as the leader, promoting respect and obedience from the dog. Cons. 1. Potential for stress. Some dogs may find direct commands intimidating or stressful, especially if they are delivered in a harsh or forceful manner. 2. Limited flexibility. Direct methods may not be as adaptable to individual dogs' learning styles or temperament, leading to frustration or resistance in some cases. 3. Dependency on commands. Dogs trained solely through direct methods may become overly reliant on commands and cues, lacking problem-solving skills and independence. Yeah. 4. Risk of overcorrection. Handlers using direct methods may be more prone to overcorrecting or using punitive measures, which can damage the dog-owner relationship and lead to fear or avoidance behaviors. In summary, while direct training methods offer clarity and control, they may not be suitable for all dogs and situations. It's important for handlers to be mindful of their dog's individual needs and temperament, using a balanced approach that combines clear communication with positive. Reinforcement. What are some direct dog training methods? There are various dog training methods, each with its own principles and techniques. Here are some common ones. 1. Positive reinforcement training. This method relies on rewarding desired behaviors with treats, praise, or toys. Dogs learn to associate certain actions with positive outcomes, increasing the likelihood of repeating those behaviors. 2. Clicker training. Clicker training is a form of positive reinforcement where a small handheld device clicker is used to mark desired behaviors, followed by a reward. The clicker serves as a precise marker to communicate to the dog which behaviors are being rewarded. 3. Negative reinforcement training. Negative reinforcement involves removing an aversive stimulus when the dog performs the desired behavior. For example, releasing pressure on a leash when the dog sits. Negative reinforcement should be used carefully and sparingly to avoid causing distress to the dog. 4. Marker training. Marker training involves using a specific sound or word marker to indicate to the dog that they have performed the correct behavior, followed by a reward. It helps create clarity and precision in communication. Between the trainer and the dog. 5. Lure and reward training. In this method, a lure such as a treat is used to guide the dog into performing a desired behavior. Once the behavior is achieved, the dog is rewarded. Over time, the lure is phased out, and the dog learns to respond to verbal or our visual cues alone. 6. Model rival or social learning. Dogs observe and learn from the actions of other dogs or humans. This method involves using a Model another dog or a human to demonstrate the desired behavior, which the dog then imitates. 7. Electronic training. Electronic training methods involve the use of electronic collars or devices to deliver signals, such as vibrations or mild shocks, to communicate with the dog. These methods should be used with caution and under the guidance of a professional trainer to ensure they are used humanely. 8. Behavioral Training Behavioral 
Training focuses on modifying undesirable behaviors, such as aggression or separation anxiety, through various techniques, including desensitization, countercondition, and management strategies. Each training method has its advantages and considerations, and the most effective approach may vary depending on the dog's temperament, learning style, and specific training goals. It's essential to choose a method that aligns with your dog's needs and your training philosophy, and to seek guidance from qualified trainers when necessary.